Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I got an incredibly unique project and artist to talk about. That is Tierra Wack. First, I gotta say shout out to Johnny Jones for putting me on to this particular project. He slid in my DMs and was like, yo, Sean, what you predicted came true. And I was like, yo, Johnny, what you talking about? And y'all about to see in a few seconds. Tierra Wax recently released Project Wax World is a project that's 15 minutes long. And how many songs are on that project? 15. There's 15 one minute songs on the project. And if you've been subscribed to this channel for a minute, you might have seen the video I did four or five months ago talking about somewhere in the future where artists are making songs as short as 15 seconds and they actually take off and get a lot of notoriety. And this one minute type of song fits right into the concept of this shorter music being able to make bigger waves and be considered real songs. And people who didn't get it really don't understand marketing and branding and that just adds to why Tierra Wack is so genius in how she delivered this project. So let's get back to Wack. There's one big reason that this project was able to work and make waves. Packaging. Quality and creativity are great, but that still isn't enough, as we all know by now, to get it out to the audience in the way that you mean it to. But it definitely gives you an advantage, and this project is full of quality. But what are some things that really made this packaging work? Number one, she did a project full of one minute songs, 15 one minute songs. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal if she just put out one song that was one minute long, and it wouldn't have been that big of a deal if she put out a full project and there were like two or three one minute songs. People would have just thought of that as an intro or some interludes. The concept alone of having a 15 minute project full of 15 one minute songs is enough to spark interest and get people curious enough to double take and dig deeper. This type of strategic packaging allows you to control a narrative about your project which will create additional conversation. This is why you'll see headlines referencing the novelty of her concept. And then also the fact that she had a visual for every single song on a project. No, that's not new anymore, but in this case, when you have this novelty of 15 one minute songs, when you just come out also with visuals to communicate the world that you're creating, whack world, we'll get into that in a second, it just adds to the novelty and the packaging. Before I get to the next thing, I gotta point out the fact that there's actually two huge issues that could be obstacles to this project moving well and being received well packaging wise. One, we just talked about the fact that these are one minute songs, but that could just be short interludes that aren't that big of a deal to people unless you package them as this collection of 15 minute songs, call them a project. And the other thing is the diversity of music on her project. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I'm so diverse in the music that I do, but the problem is they usually don't package it correctly. So somebody might come in, the listener comes in and they, it just sounds like a lot of random music and they might think things are good or you did a decent job at it, but it kind of takes away from the experience. But Tierra Wack helped solve that problem by titling it Wack World. What big difference does that make? By creating a concept project and having a world in it, when you have this diversity of music and then you add the visuals on top of it, now it's packaged as if you're stepping into her world, you're stepping into her mind. So it changes the expectations. Bruno Mars did this similarly when he actually came out with unorthodox jukebox. Now, if you don't know what a jukebox is, kind of just think of it as a radio. You might be too young, I don't know. So it justified that all the songs on his project weren't necessarily cohesive with each other, but then it still felt cohesive within the concept of the fact that it was a jukebox. So it was basically like turning the radio station to different channels on the radio. And if you doubt how relevant the name of the project is to the packaging and how the project is received, look at these other headlines about the project. They're already positioning the reader to expect something unique. And then on top of that, the way she positioned the visuals was one 15 minute movie and it just fluidly switched between each track even though they were all different. So now you even get the concept a lot deeper than you would just by listening to the audio and it sounds like it's changing. There's layers to the packaging that help you receive it. Delivery is everything. Delivery can literally make people love what they hate and hate what they love. It just changes things, right? You ever have somebody, maybe their parent tells them something but then somebody else tells them and all of a sudden they listen or someone says, 
because it's not what you said, it's how you said it, the tone, that all goes under the concept of delivery, but you can scale that out, not just from conversation, but literally all of the packaging from the visuals to the timing of interviews, how things are put together, all that goes under packaging. Now we'll go deeper into that in another video, but there's so many ways to solve the problems because in the same way that Tierra Wack had Wack World, Bruno Mars had Unorthodox Jukebox, B.O.B. solved the problem of having a genreless project by just calling it No Genre straightforward. There's a million ways to skin the cat. I think that's the first time I ever used that phrase. So for all you people who think 15 seconds or 30 second songs might not work, well the same thought process of how Tierra put this concept together and thought out how she delivered it to the public is the same type of thinking that can make something else like that work outside of something just catching on and going viral itself. And Tierra has really shown herself to be a master at this because she did the same thing when it came to mumbo jumbo. That song is basically making fun of mumble rap in its own playful way, but a lot of people who do something or talk about mumble rap always get looked at as old or just haters. How come nobody looked at her like that? The delivery. I could go on and on about Tierra forever, but it's still pretty early and her really hitting the scene. So just check her out for now. Follow her, stay up on everything she has going on. Oh, and a good thing I think a lot of you guys should do, especially if you consider yourself an artist artist, a true creative, you should check out Tierra Wax interview of Gary V. Not necessarily for what Tierra Wax says, but for the things that Gary V says to her. Listen to the whole interview. It's long, but I swear that it's worth it if you are the true creative type. I'll put that link in the description below. At some point, I'm gonna do a deeper video on packaging, but for now, just keep in mind that packaging is the difference between what the hell is this and this is genius. So if you want to talk about this, I want to know your thoughts in the comments or hit me up at Sean on Instagram. Other than that, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.